Hey guys, Kevin here with your KevCam tip of the day. So today what I want to show you guys is how to add or turn on your coolant for your hole wizard process. So very simple, uh, just go ahead and right click on hole wizard process and do current. This is going to bring up your current hole wizard process and let's say we want to add coolant to our tapped holes. So all we have to do is right click and do edit and then we can come in here and the coolant isn't going to be turned on by your tool, but it's going to be turned on by your operation. So all we have to do is right click and do edit. And we can go to our tool coolant and we want to use flood for this one. We can do save and save and exit. We can do the same thing with our drilling. So we go tool coolant, turn that on to flood and we can do a save and exit as well as for our tapping. So we'll do edit tool, coolant, and add flood. And we can do save and exit. So now, um, after that's done, we can just basically hit save and exit. And now anytime I pull up my tapped uh, hole, uh, hole wizard process, the coolant is automatically going to be turned on for you guys. So and the reason why it's not currently turned on is because inside there, it's all machine dependent. So um, some of you guys may have flood coolant, some may have blast, um, so you guys will just have to specify what coolant you want for your uh, whole wizard process. So just want to share that with you guys today and how to turn the coolant on. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.